I think every self-respecting rally fan knows what this video is. It's Timo Mäkinen in Ounin Pohja in the 1967 Rally of the Thousand Lakes, currently known as Rally Finland or Neste Oil Rally Finland, which is the WRC round of Finland, surprisingly. And I think this is one of the most iconic clips of rallying ever. This goes up to the same category as the Hand of God goal made by Maradona in football. This is the rallying counterpart for that. So to honor this insane drive by Mackinen, I made a little bit of a remake of it by driving the Mini Cooper in Dirt Rally on the stages which are modeled from the original Ounenpohe stage. So please enjoy. And here we are on the start line with the Mini and in 3, 2, 1 and off we go. Oh my god what the hell happened? The bonnet came open and I can't see a thing. I think it's time for the Timo Mackinen challenge and driving through the stage with the bonnet open so I can't see where I'm going and if you are saying that the bonnet is fake and added after the driving you're absolutely right congratulations go on to the police and give your talent to the world help people out yeah the goal of this challenge is to beat the AI drivers even though I can't see a thing on this video and even though the bonnet is added later on I promise to you that I was only looking at the parts that you can see right now on the left side camera angle as well so there was no cheating I just happened to be this good with driving without seeing where I'm going and to open up the story behind this challenge it is Timo Mäkinen in 1967 owning Pohja his engine was overheating in the previous stages so he decided to put a little sponge on the lock of the bonnet and lock the bonnet with a sturdy leather strap so there was a little gap between the front bumper and the bonnet so the engine could, could get a little bit more of cooling air but in one jump the strap came away and the bonnet came open so Timo decided what the hell let's do this anyway and he drove through the stage and finished third fastest even though he drove with the bonnet open his co-driver even suggested that maybe we should go on and shut that bonnet but Timo said no we'll lose way too much time so he drove like that he kept drifting the car sideways so he could see through the side windows and he tried to put his head out of the side window for a minute but it didn't work out that well because his head was way too big for that tiny window and now back onto the gameplay you can hear that my gear ratios are way way too short I'm on the rev limiter all the time so if you're wondering am I driving to the max yes and no I could go faster but on this car on this setup I can't go any faster than this so can you please forgive me I'm trying to honor Timo Mäkinen here you could as well we're going flat out over these jumps without knowing what's coming next so if you could please tell me what's coming next I'd be extremely grateful for that please be my co-driver thank you in advance oops I cut a bit of there and that was because I couldn't see anything but this is actually going quite well it's almost as if the bonnet isn't giving me any trouble at all but I guess I am just the lost son of Timo Mäkinen or something like that and now carefully to the junction surprisingly neatly to the junction I surprised myself even as well and this car only has four gears so sometimes I forgot it while I was trying as you can hear there I tried to put it on the fifth gear but the car didn't have five gears so I kind of screwed up and once again we're going flat out with the bonnet on our faces or well on the windshield but whatever trying to beat the master AI on the stage oops a little bit wide on the Kakarista junction but you'll have to forgive me I couldn't see where I was going compared to the fact that I was seeing as well as a 90 year old man in this video while I was driving 
you should be really proud of my driving actually. I'd like to see all of you trying this challenge as well, it's not easy as it looks. And we reached the finish line, event complete and my time is 4.12.6 and let's see, I beat the AI with 15 seconds. So take that Timo Mäkinen, you were third but I was first, Janne 1, Timo 0. And that was the video, please like, share and subscribe. If you're doing your own version of the Timo Mäkinen challenge, please let me know, I'd like to see that as well. And please leave me some comments on what challenges I should do and what did you think about this challenge in particular. And next week I'll be doing the Marcus Grönholm challenge and if you don't know what the hell that means, don't worry, neither do I. Check back next week to find out. Bye.